I've had it in races where I've just, the boat has completely stopped from being stuck in the Sargasso seaweeds. It's absolutely everywhere in the Sargasso Sea now. It covers, in some places, it's uh, upwards of 60 to 70% of the surface of the waters. Sargassum is a type of brown macroalgae or seaweed, and it's different because it doesn't have like a root system, it actually floats in the open ocean. So sargassum is a natural product of the marine ecosystem. It is actually a blue carbon harvester, so it harvests blue carbon and allows that to sink to the bottom of the seafloor. So when there's a lot of river influx into the ocean, uh, often that river water is coming from upland farms, so there's a lot of fertilizers and nitrogens and nutrients in the ocean. So then that is also fertilizing the plants that are growing in the ocean too. Sargassum has always been in the ocean. I think even Christopher Columbus reported the Sargasso Sea and the, the belts of Sargassum. So it is a natural part of the environment and it does allow for animals to hide, provide protection for the animals underneath the sargassum. There have been a number of theories around sargassum blooms. One of them was thought to be sea surface temperature, but now it's more thought around climatic changes uh, with the convergence of different currents, as well as Sahara desert dust coming over. So there'll be all of those factors that actually affect the ocean there and that can then see a bloom of sargassum in the ocean. Sargasso seaweed, I, I first came across the term or, or what it actually was um, when I was studying oceanography 12 years ago now. It was just starting to become a topic that the sargasso seaweed, which is from the sargasso area, which is around uh, the Caribbean on the Western Atlantic, it was starting to increase in the amount there was and it was starting to push a little bit further east. When I did my first Atlantic crossing uh, seven years ago, I started finding sargasso seaweed in the middle of the Atlantic, which had meant that it had managed to push uh, over a thousand miles further east in only five years. In the space of 10 years, we've seen sargasso seaweed go all the way from one side of the Atlantic to the other and it's got to do with climate change. Sargassum can be an issue because it blooms so much and it lands onto the beaches. And the reason that it can be really bad is because the sargasso seaweed, it builds up, it causes huge islands of it. It rots and it produces a hydrogen sulfide, which can be quite toxic. And so obviously for tourism reasons, that's not good. And it impacts the coastlines in, in terms of blocking ports, and meaning people can't fish, meaning beaches get covered, people's ways of life gets destroyed but also for our own sailing. You know, each time we go sailing, we, we end up with the seaweed stuck all around the keel. It gets stuck on all the appendages of the, of the boat. And for me, it, it should raise a red alarm bell. The fact that, you know, in 10 years, we can see such a significant change in a, in a planet that's just um, a perfect example of how quickly humans are, are changing our planet. And this one, unfortunately, isn't, isn't for a, a better reason.